Good morning, guys. We're along Main Street right here, and it looks like a mess in every direction. Still very dark, so you can't see much, but the damage out here, it's not hard to understand why this area is under a state of emergency. Again, this is North Main Street, and this is right by the Shell gas station. So take a look at this, this tree. No idea where this came from, but it's sitting right here, right by the pumps at the gas station. A mess right here if you look at the ground. It's, it's a mess of mud, debris. We have rocks all over the place here, metal, sticks, stones. And that's pretty much the case all around this area. Again, it is pretty dark, so you can't see much. But on the other side of the camera, we have a bunch of flooding that is still happening on Main Street here. We have a tow truck that looks like it was trying to get somebody out. That got stuck itself. You can see the flashing lights right there in the distance. And then beyond that, again, you can't see much but all of that is flooded. So a heads up, if you're driving this morning, you want to take it nice and slow because it is dark and you can't see where the water just creeps up on you. It looks like there is a brook. You can hear it still running in this area. So that's where this flooding is coming from. It is drier than yesterday, what we saw in terms of that. Take a look at this video also in this area. This was by the plaza and that was a mess. We saw such high floodwaters, shows you how scary things got around here for drivers, for neighbors, especially those neighbors stuck in this water. And that was the case here. You can see two cars stuck in the waters by the plaza here in Southbury. And that's when a good Samaritan rushes in. There was a man and his dog trapped in one of those cars. That good Samaritan rushing in, helping to get those two to safety to higher grounds. Luckily, everybody is okay in that situation, but goes to show just how scary and how quickly things escalated here in Southbury, especially with the river flooding and all of that rain that we got yesterday. Now this morning we checked the Eversource map just a few moments ago. Southbury seeing the highest power outages in the state, about 930 as of that last check, and also more than a dozen roads still closed because of issues like this, all of this mess of debris, all the flooding that we're seeing around here. We have a car coming through, and that's where we are seeing the water. So again, if you're out here this morning in the dark, be careful because you can't really tell if there's water around here, but there is a good amount of water on that road. Looks like that car might be coming and readjusting plans to get by this area. Overall, the first selectman warning people to just stay home, stay off the roads if you can, while things continue to get cleaned up and we continue to dry out. We're live in Southbury this morning. I'm Angelo Bafaro, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.